I mean, I hope, I pray, I pray that people will stop listening like children, right? Children are antsy and move around, and they get bored, and it's hard to keep the attention of children. That's what I feel like is us as the cannabis community when we're talking to people who are against us and hate us so much and want us to fail so badly. They want us to fail. They're like, it's like talking to children. That they're not listening. They're not truly listening to what we're saying. When we're telling our own personal stories. I had, there was some dude in here that discounted Don Quinique's personal story after the fact in the clubhouse. You know, when she was telling about her personal trauma and pain that she goes through. And, and how cannabis helps relieve that. And dude had the audacity to say that she's delusional, like she doesn't know her own body, like she's not listening, huh? Like she's not listening to her body and what it's telling her when it's in pain and it's in suffering and it's in actual physical pain. Cannabis helps her with that, just like it does me. I had to kick that dude out of the room, like, come on, really? Really, that's basic. That kind of attitude to cannabis church is supposed to be a safe space for my congregation. But, that, but that's part of it. Not listening. We know, and we know they're not listening. And it's okay. It's okay. We're going to talk. We're going to keep talking. Because the people who need to hear and will listen and need to hear what we're saying will eventually hear what we're saying because they will listen with proper intentions. With love and respect, right? Like I was talking about last week. With love and respect. Listen to our inner child. They talk about it in therapy, if you've ever been to a therapist. If you have a life coach, I bet you he's told you, or, or you've meditated, or anything like that. Someone has probably told you to listen to your inner child at one point. Your inner child has probably screamed out at you throughout your adulthood for attention, and told you to listen to your inner child. Because it's a place of innocence coming at a place of wanting to know and learn, even though we can be little antsy children and just want to know everything now, 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 and if we don't get it, screw it. <laughs> On to the next thing, we're impatient. I mean, you know, we are children of the universe. But listening to that inner child, you know, that's, that's great advice. But I have to listen to my inner child, you know. I, I have not really, I didn't really leave my inner child behind. Most people who know me for a long time will probably tell you that anyway. You know, I've always been a little <sighs> boisterous, outgoing, loud, rambunctious, energetic, ADHD, little me. Now it's just kind of a, an adult. I used air quotes for those listening to this, air quotes on adult. <laughs> But, and how often is it we don't listen to 